tissue. Wow, darker. That's a nice color. A little bit darker. A little bit darker? Okay. Should we go a little darker? Okay, let's go one more coat. You like your lips? I do. Uh-huh. It doesn't come off? All right. And it does not come off. I'm Kathleen. This is my husband, Ben. We have been able to grow our own business through this brand. Cinegens, a private company, it's not sold in department stores, over-the-counter beauty supplies. It is a proprietary brand, meaning they hold patents on their line. How many of you have experience working with semi or demi-permanent color lines? Aha! There we go. The reason I brought up Sebastian Cellophane, launched that color line back in the, I'm going to say mid-70s, late 70s, this man marched up and down Ventura Boulevard for two years establishing that color brand. And there was a time when you could not walk into a salon in particularly the San Fernando Valley that did not have big Sebastian cellophane posters in their windows and everybody used it. And I was around during that time and I saw some beautiful color. I also saw some fabulous mistakes because the industry had not yet learned how to deal with a demi-permanent color. We were all told that it would just, you know, after about maybe eight to ten shampoos that it would completely wash out of the hair. Well, it didn't. And that's why it was reclassified as a demi-permanent. Non-peroxide, not ammonia, very gentle to the hair, but it deposited color like crazy. Today we have many different brands that do that. I repped Redken, Paul Mitchell, Nioxin, Alterna, Purology. <laughs> so I've sold a good variety of these colors. Yoram is known in the industry as the grandfather, if you will, of semi-permanent color business. I know from statistics that every 30 seconds a stylist in this country applies a, a demi-permanent hair color to a client. Why did demi-permanent colors become so huge? Because they were more client friendly. And one of the issues was demi-perms don't leave a, a real distinct line of demarcation in the hair because it gradually fades off or washes off, if you will. Since the launch of Sebastian Cellophane, Yarn went on to create colors for most of the major manufacturers in the industry. He is the expert on demi-permanent, semi-permanent hair color. Gentleman who formulated all of our cosmetic line. He's got more experience in the demi-permanent category than anyone else in the United States, and most likely Europe as well. When the owner of this particular company decided that she wanted to launch a unique, never-before-done cosmetic line, she got a hold of Yoram Fishman. He is the creator of this product, very proudly so, and this has become one of the fastest growing cosmetic lines in the world. It addresses various needs that the consumer has. One being wax lipsticks that you put on. How long do they stay on? Until your next meal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Until your next meal or your next cup of coffee. I can speak from experience in this. When I was working with a beauty supply company, I would see on the average of about 15 to 18 salons a day. I was very mechanical with it all. I would pull up, put down my visor, put my lips on, shut the visor, shut off the car, grab my books, go inside, write an order, do a display, whatever I was going to be doing in that particular client that day. All my salons knew me very well. They know I'm a coffee girl. So when I'd walk in the door, one of the assistants would run and get me a cup of coffee, do it just the way I liked it as I wanted. I could kiss my husband as many times as I wanted. And my lip color won't come off. I can do this, I can do that. I'm going to ask for a couple of you to come up and just get a swab on your hand so that you can test it. And I defy any of you to be able to wipe this off. You put it on once in the morning, you're good to go for the rest of the day. Occasionally, people, if you have like very dry lips, you might replace your gloss sealer once or twice a day. Really, it's not necessary. Once you've sealed it, it's there. It's absolutely there. 
These are removed with cleanser, facial cleanser, soap and water, a detergent based product, which includes toothpaste, by the way. So I tell my ladies, if you're wearing this to work and you have your lunch and you typically go in and brush your teeth after lunch before going back to your desk, just be careful because toothpaste is a cleanser. It will remove some of the product. Otherwise, you're good to go for the whole day. We actually started our little business out at the Valley Indoor Swap Meet in Canoga Park for several years, unfortunately. But we established well over 3,000 clients during that time. We were there for about seven years, and the Swap Meet closed five years ago. End of this year will be five years. And believe it or not, we talk about, when I used to teach classes to stylists and salons, we always spoke about client retention. It's a good thing to get a client. It's ten times better to maintain that client and keep them for year after year after year. Part of that comes back to customer service. Part of that comes back to your skill set. And the other part of that comes to giving them products they can't live without. Do we teach retailing? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. From 20 plus years of experience dealing with salon owners, that when a student graduates, comes to the salon uh, to apply for a position there, if you can list retail sales as one of your strengths, you have about an 80% better chance of landing that position than a stylist who comes in and says, oh, I don't like to retail, I don't want to retail. I don't. Because honestly, kids, retailing is a huge part of every salon's business. If it, if it done correctly, it will pay their overhead. The commission or the profits they make on the retail sales will pay for the entire overhead of the salon. That was always my goal with every one of my clients is to set up displays and get their retail business booming. And what we always kind of shop for was whatever you do in services in a week, if you do $500 a week in services or $1,000 a week or $2,000 a week, our goal was to always have 20% of your service dollars furnished in retail sales. That kept the owner afloat, keeps you guys afloat, gives you some extra pocket money, gives you something to go out and party with on Friday night. So that was always the goal. That was the business goal. What I'm going to show you today, at least in our experience, absolute easiest retail sale, bar none. We've created a company that we're a part of. All of our partners who are distributors with us, I don't think we have a hairdresser in the group to be honest with you. We've got about 70 people. We have a couple of nail technicians, but I don't think we have a stylist. And that's really my new goal for our company, is I want stylists, because you guys are trained in color. And color is the foundation of this entire line, and being semi-permanent. The color line, as a colorist would do, is divided into yellow base, Blue base and neutrals. Who can tell me what a neutral represents? Warm, warm and cool. Thank you. Warm and cool combined at the same level. You can tell by looking at the chart that these colors range from probably about a level two is our darkest and up to and including probably a level 10 or 11. Some of the very, very pale shades would be about a 10 or 11. Because these are liquid, not wax, there is no wax, no oil, and no lead in any of these products, any of them, from the skincare all the way to the cosmetics. So what you can do is you can formulate a specific color for a client by mixing these together on their lips. We can do up to three overlays of colors. Those of you that have had your color theory already and those of you that are just getting into it understand what an undertone is. In our world here, we don't do hair color, but with our cosmetic line, we don't do, you know, patch testing or any of that. Actually, we do, but we do it on their hand. How many times have any of you put on, well, let's say you wanted to go like a bright pink lip color, and over the course of the day, maybe it turns violet, or maybe it turns peach. That's because you're pulling that undertone. It's present in the skin as well as the hair. We can adjust or correct 
that color, because I've got, oh my goodness, hundreds of women, <coughs> let's say that are redheads, very gold undertones. They don't necessarily like that undertone, they want to correct that undertone. So what corrects yellow? Violet. So what would we do then? We would put a violet base on first as a corrective base, and then put whatever color over that that they desire. And that's how we stop, if you want to call it oxidation, if you want to call it undertone damage, that's how we correct it. And you pretty much do the same thing with hair color. If you know the client's going to pull a real strong yellow undertone or they're going to pull blue, you correct that. And some color lines have the corrective base already in the color. Others you have to add it in yourself. This brand has about 60 colors, but because we can intermix them, I can create over 10,000 different shades with 60 colors. You are only limited on this by your own imagination or lack thereof. You can play with these because, again, you can take them right off the skin if you don't enjoy the color that you've created. On the flip side, you can let a client know that you can design her own individual, put her name on it color. A lot of my salons wanted products that no other salon had. This is absolutely the best tool that I can provide today to give them that opportunity. You're going into a career that you can supplement with so many different things. You can get into, I mean, you can just, you can cut color and perm hair. You can do cosmetics, you can do nails, you can do image consulting, you can do so many things. And this is just one more tool to pop in your bag that says, you know, I'm multifaceted in what I do. I am an image consultant as much as anything else. So this is what it's going to look like after we're done. That's how it's going to look. Once it's sealed, it's there to stay. You can rub it as hard as you want. Your color will not smear it off. All you do is reapply your gloss every four or five hours to keep your lips moist. Your color will stay there for days until you wash it. So let's try to paint your lips. Once you put it on, keep your lips apart until you put on the gloss. Right? So let's do it. So this is a much more softer, more natural. Did you pick a color? No? If you make a mistake, immediately wipe it before it dries. You can even paint the inside of your lips. This won't stick the toothy now. There's a little blending thing in here, just like if it was a candy cane. It won't stick to your teeth. Go again, one more time. Okay, let that dry. Do you want to go a little brighter? Let's go a little brighter. Okay. Let's do one more coat. You are going to put this on, and I'm going to show you how. What we're going to do, um, when you do Keep your lips apart after you're done. The brush, you ever go, one stroke, one fluid stroke, and you keep re repeating that same direction, right? And you do the very same thing with this. So I'm going to put color on it. Okay, usually the glosses come like this. You just pull out the wand and put it on, but for the public I can't do that. Start the bottom lip, go all the way across. Clean, your finger. Gloss very generously, rub your lips together, and you're good to go. If you want to blot it at all, if it's too shiny, then you can blot it one time. Now do me a big favor. As hard as you can, put a kiss right there. Try to smear it off. Try to wipe it off. Nothing. Just gloss. Go over it. Try not to backtrack too many times. You should keep it. it looks very good on you. Yeah. Very good. Keep it like that. You don't want to mix. You can mix. mix. If you want. I think I'm going to keep it. Okay. You want to keep it that way? And I. Pearl gloss. Pearl gloss. Yes, yeah. 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 Violet. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I like it. It's good. And we can go as dark as you want. Okay. We can go as yeah. We can go and with the gloss, this is what it's going to look like. Let's do one more coat. It's just a stunning color. 
that. Yes, yeah, you can try this. Yeah. With the gloss, this is what it's going to punch up to look like. I call that my everyday red because you can wear that to coordinate with yeah. the outfit or your hair. Like? Okay. So help me God, it's true. We have been invited to women's homes to come in and design a color palette yes. and paint a new girl. Just leave them up so the color will go This is the sealer. The sealer is required. Like that. Now let's it's go clear gloss on you. Clear gloss. Gloss very generously. Rub your lips together, you're all done. Yeah, the, the trick with the gloss is just be sure you cover all the color. Because that is your setting agent, Can that's your moisturizer. Your together, <laughs> <you're all done. laughs> and then put it down, let's see. Nothing comes off. Mm -hmm. We test on the hand because if we put on the lips, it's hard to remove. Correct. And that way you don't waste a lot of product to see what she likes. Correct. And plus you irritate the lips, taking it off, move it, putting it back on. Okay. So we put a whole bunch of colors on the hands just to see how it will do with the skin tone because the hand's a little darker than the lips. So we can see how it goes. Do you like that? Yeah, I like this. Okay. Let's do that. Then. Looks best. So you always want to shake it. Like and, that. and that's what it's going to look like on your lips. You like that? I like it. Just like okay. you would add the crocs. I don't have anything quite that right. But this we have either that. I don't know. Blue red. No, no. Lips together yeah. really good. She's gone out. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it ain't coming on. So which one are we doing? That one. That's good. That's going to be beautiful on you. Seen how we've done this with everybody. Start at the bottom lip, corner to corner, do it twice, and then I'll give you a new applicator for your top lip. Okay. We don't ever double dip. This, yeah, it's very nice. This one, you have to paint it on. It's not like exactly the lipstick. You just have to no. paint it on. The big difference is lipsticks, we were always taught to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. With liquid lip colors, you don't want to do that. Because mm -hmm. you'll, you'll lay product down, and if you go backwards, you'll pick it right back up. Mm -hmm. And you don't want a blotchy look. You want something real smooth, you change and even, color, you can do that even well. and gorgeous. What do you think? Very nice. Yeah. Be sure you cover like all it. the color, and then rub your lips together and work it into the tissue. Yeah, clear gloss with that. Oh yeah. Put it on very generously. Just put it on, rub your lips together. And then you if can you, blot it. Yeah, if you, you, if you get too much on, you can always blot it with a tissue and take it down a notch. But that is gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well, that's a wow. I'm not. <laughs> that is hot. Now, I'm going to have you do the kiss test. Experience with this. Nine times out of ten, once a woman puts this on her lips and realizes that she doesn't have to touch it up every 15 minutes. And it's not wax. You're they, eating wax every day. They keep coming lipstick. back for more. And the next time they come back as a client to you, they're saying, what else do you have? Well, we have mascara, same thing. Eyeliner, same thing. Uh, foundation that has, that's really what got us into the studio, was the foundations. They're water-based, they're sheer, and they have the best coverage of any product I've ever seen, including all the oil-based foundations that are. You're going to use so much less of this product because you don't have to reapply it five, ten times a day. My first tube of this color lasted me 11 months. And I've never, ever had a wax lipstick last me anywhere near that long. Usually I'd get about three months out of one. And they just, honest to goodness, they, they get like hooked on this. I know I did. <laughs> and I was a rep for a beauty company who sold like 20 different brands of lip colors. And cosmetics, and makeup, and skincare, and everything else. And... Yeah. So the left is before, the right is after. Um, any other questions I can answer? No? That is beautiful. Mm -hmm.
That is beautiful. Oh